the two potential Supreme Court justices, Justice Mariama Usu and Justice Lovelace Johnson, took turns to answer questions on their background, experiences at the bench, as well as their future prospects at the Apex Court. The first to appear was Justice Mariama Usu, who debunked the notion that the mode of appointment and political opinion of justices have an influence on their judgments. She also espoused her opinion on the current state of legal education in Ghana and the perceived corruption in the judiciary. These days, uh, the way you hear people here called Supreme Court, so it tells you the confidence that um, people have at least in the Supreme Court. They've interpreted, you know, laws uh, that has satisfied, you know, people. They don't. They are not there because of their political. We all vote, and we all have uh, parties we vote for. But we've sworn an oath that we will administer justice to all manner of people without fear. And I guess that is the consideration that drives most of the judges. I can tell. The second and final nominee to be vetted for the day was Justice Lovelace Johnson. She labeled death penalty as terrible and called for urgent action on it. She further advocated for a sexual harassment policy to curb the practice. One of the most horrible experiences I've had is when as a new high court judge in 202, I was slated to sit at the assizes and I had to sentence someone to death. With that in mind, the judiciary is made up of human beings. We can make mistakes. Death is the end of everything. So what if we make a mistake and the person is already dead? For me, that's the basic, that's where I start from. Apart from the fact that the death penalty might infringe the rights of someone. So the possibility that judges can make a mistake, the person is killed only to find later that there was a mistake. For that reason alone, I'm anti the death penalty. For City News, I am Anna Seydou reporting from Parliament.